Hi, this is Corbin with Revolution Data Systems. I'm going to show you different ways to upload documents to Application Extender Web Access. First, select the application you wish to upload to. Click the New Document button. On this page, we use the Add Page button. Now select Choose Files, and you can browse your system to the location where you're storing the documents wish to upload. Once you've selected the document, you click Upload. We're almost done, but we have to select and enter the index values for this document. Index values are the metadata, or the external values that tell us more about the document itself. We have to enter any required values, and those will be marked by a red asterisk. In this case, this document is a PDF. Once I have entered the required values and any other values that I think are important to store with the document, I click Save. There we go. Another way to import documents into Web Access is through the Windows Clipboard. Once I select New Document and I reach the New Document window, instead of clicking the Add Page button, I'm going to find an image that I wish to upload. In this case, once I am looking at the image on screen, I can right-click the image, select Copy Image, come back to my Web Access tab and simply use the Windows keyboard shortcut Control plus V to paste into the window. Web Access knows that I'm trying to add this document and it wants to know where I will place that page relative to the pages that are already there. In this case, there are no pages there, so it doesn't matter what I select. I can just click OK. I'm going to add another page to this document and show you how to append or insert a four. I will simply select another image and copy image on this one. When I go back to my tab, it's the same thing, Windows keyboard shortcut, Control V. Now, in this drop down menu, I can select where I'd like to place this page. And in this case, I want to insert before. When I click OK, you'll see that that page became page one. In this case, the page right before what was being displayed. At this point, I enter my index values and I save it. Voila, a two-page document created strictly from pasting images from the Windows clipboard, a new feature that OpenText added to Application Extender Web Access in version 16.6. Thanks for watching.